the port of Duisburg is located at the confluence of the Rhine and the Ruhr. It's a logistical hub with a total of 21 docks. Over 250 companies have their headquarters here. Around 11% of all jobs in Duisburg are connected with the port. Scrap Island is an artificial spit of land within the port. Here, metal is recycled on a grand scale. Cars, tin cans, ship parts. In a first step, the different types of metal are separated from each other. Working with scrap presses and shredders, it's a true man's playground. But trading in scrap metal is complex and there's an international network. Here, training in industrial business management means learning about all the different types of scrap, as well as wearing a boiler suit. Linda Eisenman is also here to gain practical experience. Most of her friends thought she was working at a waste disposal site. For us, it's not rubbish. Many people think it is, but steel scrap is an important raw material, which many steelworks need to produce new steel. Our apprenticeship is structured so we get to visit the scrapyards. There we can learn all about the different kinds of scrap, the aggregates, how it all works and comes together. The recycling plant buys some 10 tonnes of scrap each year in order to process it and then sell it. Their main customers are the steelworks. Scrap is reused in the furnaces to produce steel. Scrap deliveries are weighed and checked on arrival. When a lorry comes in, we first check if what it says on the label corresponds to what is unloaded. Dirt that is mixed in with the scrap is extracted. It's not the material we want, so we don't pay for it. Linda's stepfather also works on Scrap Island. As a child, she was sometimes allowed to accompany him to work. At that time, the island was like a big adventure playground to her. She knew she also wanted to work here one day. Of course, driving a wheelload is just great. It's so enormous. It's totally amazing sitting up there and driving into the mountains of scrap. At first I was a bit scared, but then it was just so much fun going into those heaps of scrap and shifting them about. It's just incredible. Working on Scrap Island. It's sometimes difficult for Linda to explain her job to others. When my friends ask me what I do here, then of course I tell them that I'm proud to be working here and that I'm allowed to drive a wheel loader. It also means I can compete with the men. If they say, I've driven a digger, then I can say, well, I've driven a wheel loader. It still isn't easy to assert oneself in such a male-dominated world. There was a lot of rough banter with the colleagues in the beginning. I really had to get used to it. But then you form a relationship with the people who work here and quickly get to know them. And I also met my boyfriend here. We've been going out for a year now. He's very supportive and I'm happy to be working here. 
As a true Duisburg native, Linda is very defensive of her hometown. She enjoys living here among Rhine pastures and the scrap. For me, Duisburg is a very special city. I was born here, so I've been living here for 19 years now. Even if Duisburg doesn't have a great reputation, I still think it's a beautiful place. 